I've been reporting for the major networks on the recent tragic events in Paris, France. My reports show dramatic footage of the attack on the Charlie Hebdo offices, in which 12 people were killed. And I reported how a terrorist sprayed bullets in a kosher supermarket, killing four Jews. The next day, I produced an in-depth report explaining how the real victims of the violence were Muslims facing the very real dangers of Islamophobia. I reported from inside the Muslim community and explained how these lone wolf terrorists were disenfranchised youths who may be turned to violence and became radicalized because of social deprivation and lack of opportunities. I interviewed a Muslim cleric who explained that Islam was a tolerant religion. He quoted the Quran saying, kill the unbelievers wherever you find them and fight against those who believe not in Allah. He said Muslim Sharia law is ordained by Allah for all mankind, including the West. But he said those who showed respect for Islam had nothing to fear. I didn't use the quotes from the Quran because they were too long for a TV news report and anyhow it didn't really fit the story. My editor called to say he was real pleased with the report. The next day I filed a hard-hitting story about liberty and how the attack on Charlie Hebdo was an attack on our freedom of speech. I filmed a cartoonist who drew a broken pencil with blood coming out of it. I thought this sent a strong message to the terrorists about how we're prepared to fight for our Western values. We didn't show the actual Charlie Hebdo cartoons of Mohammed because that would have been offensive and could have caused Islamophobia. Also, we didn't want to put ourselves at risk from terrorism, which, let's face it, is a real danger these days. Finally, I reported how nearly two million people marched through Paris along with some world leaders. We zoomed in on the Palestinian leader Abbas and I explained that terror attacks on Jews would maybe stop if Israel gave in to Palestinian demands. In other words, give the Muslims what they want to avoid conflict and confrontation. I think I made a pretty tough political point there. Now, it's just not possible to report every single thing. For example, I didn't report that many Muslims I spoke to actually approve of the attacks on Charlie Hebdo and told me that those who blaspheme deserve what they get. I didn't report on the Muslim-inspired anti-Semitism that's all over France these days. I didn't report that at the same time this Paris stuff was going down, Islamic Boko Haram terrorists massacred 2,000 people in the town of Baga in Nigeria. I didn't report how Palestinian leader Abbas encourages attacks on Jews by paying cash rewards to convicted terrorists. I didn't report these things because I guess if people take these isolated incidents and then connect them up, then it could lead to an increase in Islamophobia. For a journalist, I have to say it was a pretty tough week, but I'm proud that I reported the news and provided in-depth analysis to help people make sense of it all. Above all, I'm proud I stood up to defend liberty and freedom of expression, while at the same time avoiding Islamophobia. Thank you for listening.